Okay, good day. So next up, we have the inverse of a uh, matrix. So first of all, we have a uh, matrix A. If we are to uh, determine the inverse of matrix A, this is the same as the inverse of a uh, matrix A is equal to 1. This is divided by the determinant of matrix A multiplied by the uh, we are to modify this one to the adjoint of matrix uh, A. So we have to do this uh, first determine the determinant of the matrix and the adjoint of uh, matrix A. Considering that uh, the determinant of a uh, matrix A should not be equal to uh, 0. Otherwise, we'll be having a 0 divisor and our answer will be undefined or the inverse will be undefined. So, for example, uh, let's try a 2 by 2. Okay, so, for example, we have a 2 by 2 matrix, that is a matrix A. So, we are required to determine the inverse of a uh, matrix A. So, first, we have to determine the determinant of matrix A. So, this is the determinant of uh, matrix A, the same as the determinant of matrix A. Since this is 2 by 2, we can use the basket pig method or the diagonal method. So we have we get the product of the diagonal elements. Downward to the right will be positive, upward to the right will be uh, negative. So we have that as 2 times uh, 6 less, we have 4 times uh, 1. So we have a, a determinant of matrix A. Is equal to, we have 12 minus a 4, we have this now, equal to a 8. So after we have the determinant of matrix A, we have to determine the uh, adjoint. So for the adjoint, uh, first we have to determine the minor, uh, the minor matrix of uh, matrix uh, A. So what is the minor of matrix uh, A? So initially, Okay, we have a uh, matrix A. Initially, we have 2, 1, we have 4, and uh, 6. So, first, determine the minor of matrix A. This is equal to, what is the minor of 2? We cross out first row and first column. That is equal to 6. The minor of 1, we cross out first row and second column. That is a uh, 4. Then, okay, we are just to repeat the process. So minor of 4, we have positive 1, minus of, uh, minor of 6 is positive uh, 2. So this is for the uh, minor. So we'll be having the cofactor matrix. Let's so say this is the cofactor of A. All we have to do is uh, I give the sign of each of the uh, minor. So take note, how do we have the sign, alternating sign? So positive, negative, negative, uh, positive. So therefore, we'll be having the cofactor matrix of matrix A as this is positive 6, negative 4, this is negative 1, and positive uh, 2. So this is our cofactor matrix A. How do we have the adjoint of matrix A? So the, ad the adjoint of matrix A is the transpose of the cofactor matrix. All we have to do is convert this row into column. So the first row will be the first column. And the second row will be the second uh, column. So this is now our adjoint. The adjoint of uh, matrix A. So how do we determine the inverse of uh, matrix A? This is the inverse of matrix A. This is 1 divided by. Uh, what is the determinant of matrix A? We have positive 8 multiplied by the adjoint of matrix A. So we have the adjoint. This is 6, negative 1. This is negative 4, positive all we have to do is distribute this one. So we have the inverse of matrix A is equal to 6 over 8 is the same as 3 over 4. Okay, negative 1 over 8. This is negative 1 over 8. Negative 4 over 8 is negative uh, 1 half. 2 over 8 is positive 1 4. So this will be the inverse of the 2 by 2 matrix A. So the inverse of Let us determine the 
are the determinant of a matrix A. So we have to use by the basket weave method since it is only a 3 by 3 a matrix. So all we have to do is uh, rewrite our first and second uh, column. So for the first column, this is 3 by 2, then positive 1. Then second column, we have 1, negative 2, and positive uh, 2. Then we have to get the product of the diagonal elements. Uh, downward to uh, the right will be positive. Then upward to uh, the right will be uh, negative. Okay, so we have the determinant of a matrix A is equal to we have this is a 3 multiplied by negative 2 multiplied by negative a 1 so plus we have 1 multiplied by 0 by 1 then we have plus negative 1 times 2 times by negative 1 times 2 times a 2 for the upward to the right diagonal elements the product will be I minus 1 multiplied by negative 2 multiplied by negative 1 minus 2 times this is 0 multiplied by a 3 by minus we have negative 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by positive a 1 then we are simplify we have the determinant of matrix A 3 times negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 6 1 times 0 times 1 this one is a 0 then I minus, I then minus a 4, negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, this one is, I say 0, then negative times negative will be positive, this is plus a 2. So we have a, a determinant of matrix A is so equal to positive a 2. 6 minus 4 is positive 2, minus 2 is a 0. So this is our uh, determinant of the matrix. So we have uh, initially we have matrix A with the elements and this is 3, 1, negative 1, 2, uh, negative 2, 0, okay, 1, uh, 2, then negative uh, 1. So let us uh, first, uh, we need to determine the adjoint of a uh, matrix, uh, the, the adjoint of matrix A. So let us first determine the minors of each uh, element. So for example, the minor of 3, uh, this is the same as uh, the minor of A11. So it's the minor of A11. If we are to cross out the first row and first column, we have the elements, our remaining elements is negative 2, 0. Positive 2, negative uh, 1. Then we have to get the uh, product of the diagonal elements. So this is equal to uh, negative 2 multiplied by negative 1 okay, minus 2 times a uh, 0. So we have the minor of A11 is equal to okay, we have positive, that will be positive 2. Okay. So next, that is for uh, A11. Let's have the minor. And the minor of A12, that is on the first row, second uh, column. So if you have to cross out the first row and second column, the remaining elements will be 2, uh, 0, 2, 0, 1, and negative uh, 1. Then we have to determine the determinant of this 2 by 2, that is 2 times uh, negative 1, or minus 1 divided by uh, 0, we have this as negative will be negative 2. Okay, and the last element of the first row, that is the minor of A1, A3. So if you have to cross out the first row and third column, the remaining elements will be 2, negative 2, 1, positive, A2. So we have that is 2 times 2, A minus 1 multiplied by negative A2. So we have 4, Okay, negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2, 4 plus 2, this will be positive uh, 6. So these are the minors of the first uh, row. Let us determine the minors of the second row.
So the minor of the second row, this is uh, second row first column. What is that element? That is the positive. Okay, the positive two. So second row first column. If we are to cross out the first uh, first row and a uh, first column and second row, what will be the or what are the remaining elements? So the remaining elements, we have one negative one. This is two negative. A one. Determinant. This is one divided by negative one minus two times a negative a one. So this is the same as negative one plus two. That will be positive. Or that will be positive one. Then we have next. This is a minor of a twenty a two. Second row, second column. So we have to cross out the second row and second column. Remaining elements will be three, negative one, one and negative a one. So determinant. This is three times negative one minus one divided by negative a one. We have this is negative three plus one. Negative three plus one is negative a two. Then we have. Okay, the minor of second row, third column element. So we are to cross out okay, second row and third column. Okay, the minors we have a three one, then one a two. So determinant this is the same as three times a three times two minus one times a one. So this is six minus one. We have that as positive a five. So these are. Okay, the minors of the second row. So on the last row, we have the minor. Okay, the minor of the third row, first column. Okay, third row, first, first column. So this one. So if we are to cross out the third row, first column, we have the minors. This is one negative one, negative two, a uh, zero. Determinant one times zero. A minus this is negative two multiplied by negative a one. So we have the minor. This is negative times negative is positive two times negative one is the same as negative a two. And we have the minor of a three two. This is third row second column. We cross out the third row and second column. So minors. We have this is three negative one a two n a zero. So determinant this is three times a zero minus a two times negative a one. So this is negative times negative. This will be positive a two. And for the last a minor, this is. Uh, the minor of a three a uh, three. We cross out third row and third column elements. We have three one a uh, two negative a uh, two. This is the same as three times a uh, negative two minus two times a uh, one. So this is three times negative three is negative six minus two is negative a uh, eight. Uh, three times negative three negative six, then minus two times a uh, one. So these are the minors. So let us uh, write down our minor matrix. Alright, so this is our right, the minor of uh, matrix of uh, matrix A. So let us have the Okay, the cofactor matrix of uh, matrix A. So all we have to do is uh, I input the signs for uh, the elements of the minor matrix. So don't forget our alternating signs. We have positive, negative, positive. This is negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, then a uh, positive. We are just input the signs for the elements of the minor matrix. Then we have the cofactor uh, matrix. So this will be by uh, positive two times positive two. This is positive two. Negative times negative, this will be positive two. Then we have positive uh, six. But that is for the first uh, row. One positive one times negative. This is negative one. 
Okay, positive, negative 2 times positive is the same as negative 2, 5 should be negative. So, we have negative 5. That is for the second row and for the third row, negative times positive is still negative. Positive times negative is negative. So, this is negative 2. Negative by positive is also negative. So, this will be our cofactor matrix of matrix A. Since we have now the cofactor matrix, we can have the adjoint matrix. This is the adjoint of a matrix A. So, basically, that is the same as the transpose of the cofactor matrix of A. All we have to do is uh, determine the cofactor, converting the rows into uh, columns. So, we have this is the adjoint of matrix A is equal to the first row will be our first column 2, 2, uh, 6. Then second row will be the second column. This is negative 1, negative 2, then negative uh, 5. Third row will be the third column. So this is negative 2, negative 2, then negative uh, 8. So this is our uh, the adjoint of matrix A. So again, how do we determine the inverse of matrix A? That is equal to 1 divided by the determinant of matrix A multiplied by the adjoint of matrix uh, A. So, while ago, we are able to compute for the value of the determinant of matrix A that is equal to positive, or we have positive 2. So, we can have the inverse. We have now the inverse of matrix A is equal to 1 divided by the determinant is 2 multiplied by the adjoint matrix. This is 2, negative 1, negative 2, 2, negative 2, negative 2, we have 6, negative 5, negative uh, 8. All we have to do is okay, distribute this determinant as a scalar quantity to all elements of the adjoint matrix. So we have now the inverse of matrix A is not equal to, we have 2 over 2 is positive 1, negative 1 over 2 is negative 1 half, negative 2 over 2 is negative 1, 2 over 2 is 1, Negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. Negative 2 over 2 is also negative 1. We have 6 divided by 2 is positive 3. Negative 5 over 2. So this is negative 5 over 2. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative uh, 4. So this is uh, the inverse of uh, matrix A. So this will be our, uh, that will be our answer.